everything you need to know about the WordPress dashboard starting right now. So as you guys can see, I already have a live website and to get to your dashboard, what you want to do is go to your web address and then type slash WordPress admin. When you're creating your domain and installing WordPress, it will prompt you to create a login and a password. If you guys need help picking a hosting service or setting up and installing your domain and WordPress, go ahead and click the link up top right now. I have a bunch of tutorials on that where I'll walk you through the process. Once you log into the WordPress dashboard, it is going to look like this. It's gonna take you to dashboard and it's gonna take you to home right here. Dashboard is gonna show you some options that you have for your plugins. It's gonna say, welcome to WordPress. We don't need all that. And then it's gonna give you some options, quick draft. Most of the time, you're not gonna use any of the elements in here because they don't give you all the features that you're gonna to need to actually, for example, make a post or manipulate a form with WP forms like I have going here. So let's start at the top left. Obviously, it's just gonna be the WordPress logo about WordPress, get involved, blah, blah, blah. Most people aren't gonna use that. This link is actually going to take you to your live website online, as you guys can see right here. And then this top bar is only gonna be accessible to you if you are the admin for this website or if you give access to somebody else to edit this website. And I will show you guys how to manipulate access and how to change that later on in today's video. We're gonna go ahead and close out of that and start moving on to the next one. This is going to refresh your dashboard. So let's say you install a new plugin and you don't see it, go ahead and hit refresh here. This is gonna let you manage your comments like so, but we don't wanna do that right now. New is gonna let you create a post, add media such as videos, pictures, page is gonna let you create a page, landing page, template, product, order, coupon, and these are here because of WooCommerce, and we'll get into that in a second. So if you don't have any plugins installed, don't panic if you don't have all the options that I have because a lot of these are here because I do have a plugin installed. So for example, WP Forms is a form plugin that I'll be showing you guys in a minute. And this is showing up. I can go in here and edit, manipulate my forms, do whatever I want there. This again is another plugin. This is Yoast SEO. It's gonna give me some notifications, show me my best SEO settings, and then try and upsell me as much as it possibly can because that's what they do. And then caching, you can change your cache settings here or you can purge all of them. WP Forms, again, that's just a plugin that I have installed. Depending on the plugin that you have installed, it might show up here on the top bar, over here on the left side navigation, or when you go to customize your website or open Elementor or something along those lines. HostGator is showing because that's my hosting service. I just use them because they're the cheapest. I'm not sponsored at all, but I recommend them. They're good, reliable, and absolutely the cheapest out there on the market done a lot of research on that. And it's gonna let you go home, store, et cetera, change your settings directly from WordPress here. Then your dashboard, again, this is just gonna take you right back to this page that we already went over. It's gonna let you view updates like so. This will give you some quick updates. Most of the time, it's just gonna be versions that your WordPress dashboard is updating to here. Foxy is a plugin that I have and it's gonna let me edit it here and change some different settings. Jetpack, again, it's just another plugin that I have. And if you don't know what a plugin is yet, we will get into that later on in today's video. So make sure you watch until the end. Post is gonna let you view all your posts here. And then it's also going to let you add new posts add categories and add tags. Categories and tags are essential to maximize your SEO. And as you guys can see here on this particular website, we don't even have a blog built out for this client because they didn't want it at all. So we just have this default uh, post that WordPress provides to you. And here you can edit, quick edit, trash, do whatever you want with it. Duplicate this is a plugin. So if you don't have that option showing, go ahead and download duplicate this and I'll show you guys plugins in a second. And then this is actually gonna let you delete it too. So if you select this, it's gonna select all your posts. If you just wanna select a few, you can go ahead and do that as well. And then you can go ahead and edit, move to trash, do whatever you need to, just like that. It's gonna show you when this was published. Now moving on to media, this is gonna show you all the media that you have uploaded onto your website. This is an e-commerce website, so that's why I have so many pictures and it will also show you if you have any videos of that nature. And here you can go ahead and edit your alternative text, title, caption, description, and it'll show you the file file URL right here. It'll let you delete it, download, edit, 
all right here. And you can also add new media file here. All this is gonna do is give you this option and then you can add that file directly in from your computer like so. Now moving on to pages, this is gonna allow you to view all the pages that you have. These are all the pages that we have and keep in mind, we have a lot of duplicates and a lot of stuff that hasn't been cleaned up yet just because this site is so new and we're barely test launching it right now. So we'll come in here, start cleaning up some of this stuff extremely soon. And then this is gonna let you again, select certain things that you want, unselect things that you can delete here like this. Go ahead and hit apply if you do decide to delete something like that. And then it's gonna let you add a new page right here as well. So you guys can see that the WordPress dashboard is really intuitive. And once you know where everything is, it's not so overwhelming anymore. Comments, this is gonna let you view comments from your blog posts. Again, we don't have a blog on this website, so we're not gonna have any comments. All we have is the default WordPress comment. These three right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip these because these are all just plugins again. WooCommerce, again, all of this right here is because I have WooCommerce installed. Again, I mentioned that this is an e-commerce website and we will be getting into how to use WooCommerce how to create e-commerce websites and many more things on this channel. But for today's video, we're gonna skip past that. Elementor, another plugin that I have that makes changing your website and creating it extremely easy, highly recommend. Then it's gonna show you templates, it's gonna show you save templates, theme builder, landing pages. Here is where you're gonna go if you're really advanced in WordPress and you wanna start building your own themes, building your own templates in WordPress. Most of WordPress is built using PHP, so if you're strong in PHP like I am, you won't have a hard time going in here creating templates and creating different things in WordPress or editing code on the fly. WP Forms, that's a form plugin, so again, if you don't have that, don't panic. It's something that I already installed. I'll be showing you guys in a second. Appearance will show up for you guys, and here is where you're gonna be a lot of the time, because when you hover over appearance, it's gonna show you themes. This is going to allow you to install themes, right? So it's really, really useful. You're gonna start off with these four right here. This one is one that I actually installed and I'm currently using for this client's website. Next, you can go ahead and click add new theme and it'll let you add a new one from a big library of themes that they have all over WordPress. There is so many to choose from, so we will be going into some of the best themes later on. And then again, it's gonna let you access your premium themes, customize widgets. Widgets are gonna be useful. You guys will learn more about that with me when I start getting into uh, how to change footers, headers, and everything when you're customizing your WordPress page. Then menus is gonna be really, really useful because here is going to allow you to create a menu. As you guys can see, we did a video a few weeks ago about me showing you how to actually create and add a menu, and you guys can still see that one here. So additional CSS, here's again where you're gonna get a little bit more advanced. You're gonna need to actually know some level of uh, CSS to start adding your own customized CSS. And now we're gonna have pop-up builder, upload theme. So if you create your own theme, theme file editor, again, if you know PHP, you're gonna be really well off. If not, not gonna be a big deal because there's so many themes to already choose from that will likely fit your website and the vibe you're going for. Plugins is finally where we're going to go next. When you hover over this, you're gonna be able to look at your installed plugins, add a new plugin, plugin file editor, or your premium plugins right here. We're gonna start off with installed plugins. If you scroll down, this is all the plugins that I currently have installed on my website. As you can see, some of the ones I talked about, Duplicate Page, Bloxy Companion, and a few more of them. WooCommerce is here, WooCommerce PayPal Payments. Again, we will be going more into depth on those. If I wanna add a new plugin, I can click Add New Plugin. I can go down here, look through it like this, or I can search for plugins by typing it in, clicking enter, and now you guys can see that obviously I already have that one installed. Users, this is gonna be extremely useful if you wanna add somebody to the website that needs to be able to edit it or something along those lines. So just by seeing all users, you can only see us right now because we have one access to this website. That's the way we like to keep it because it keeps it more secure and the role is administrator. So we don't like to add a whole lot of users to this because then it gets confusing and the site becomes less secure. 
add new user. This is going to let you add somebody to it. Let's say you want somebody to be able to edit it with their own login. Here's where you can add their username information and give them their password and then change their role on the website. And then once you're done, go ahead and hit add new user and they should get an email with all that information. Profile, this is gonna let you customize how your WordPress dashboard looks. So visual editor, syntax highlighting, this is gonna change the color right here of your dashboard. As you guys can see, I just leave it as default because I don't really care to be honest. Keyboard shortcuts, it's gonna give you some documentation here. This is gonna show your toolbar when you're viewing the website. If you turn this off, it won't show you this toolbar when you're in your website over here. So you definitely wanna leave this toolbar feature on so you can go actually edit your website. So make sure you leave that on. You can change the site language. You can change your first, last name. I don't know why this is like this, but that's probably a joke from somebody. And then you can see that my name displays publicly right now is Calman Web Design because that is our business name. And then email. This is important because this is likely going to be your business email or something along those lines. And there's going to be some more options down below. But once you're done, make sure you scroll all the way to the bottom of this page and hit save. So all those new settings are saved. Now tools that we don't really have a lot of tools right now, but here's where they would show up once you start getting into that. You can see advertising, import, export, site health. We'll show you if your site's good to go and some more information about your website here and some suggestions. So it says you should remove inactive plugins. And again, that's just because we haven't set those up yet, but we will be setting those up soon. Settings is gonna be really useful. This is gonna change how you experience WordPress and how a lot of stuff is displayed on your website. So site title, rambling tees, taglines here my wordpress address the url for it and my site address are all right here already because again you set that up through the hosting service and they all plug this information in for you the administrative email is a super important because this is where all the form submissions and everything are going to go you can add more emails that will receive the form submissions and things like that but this one is going to be the default for everything from that website. So make sure you have a good email, especially if this is your business. For our business, we like to leave the admin as our email. And then if we want to add another email where they uh, receive form submissions, we just add it through the plugin itself. Then we can change user default roles, site language, time zone, date format, time format, when the week starts, cash level, and then make sure you hit save when you do that. Writing, this is where you can access your mail server, login name, password, and a couple more extra things. Once you're done, hit save. Reading, this is gonna be where you can display your homepage. So right now I have my homepage set to home, but if I wanna change it, I can change it right here. Post per page, I can change right here. Blog page show at most is gonna be 10. You can change that here. And then you can change this to full text excerpt right here. Search engine visibility, you definitely don't wanna discourage search engines from indexing this site if you wanna be seen at least. Then go ahead and hit save when you're done. Discussion, this is gonna let you change your discussion settings, default post settings, other comment settings, email me before a comment appears, etc. This is not super important. That's why I'm going through it so fast because most people really won't come into some of these pages that I'm going through quick. Then media, it's gonna let you change your uh, image sizes. So it'll show you thumbnail size, medium size, and large size. And you can change exactly how big those video files are. And then you can organize those, which this is gonna be the default. It's gonna be checked like that. Permalinks is gonna be really important. I like to have my permalinks set to custom structure right here. I don't know why it's set to sample post. It should be set to post name. So this is going to display whatever the post name is, especially if I'm using a blog. We set it like this because it's great for SEO. So if you write a particular blog and name it, for example, best t-shirts for sale with polyester, that will display right here as the post name. So that definitely helps when somebody's searching up and it helps your SEO score. So that's always good to include. Here you can change your category base, tagline base, product category. This is all WooCommerce related stuff. That's why this information is showing up right here. And then product permalinks, that's again for WooCommerce. And the custom base is gonna be t-shirts for sale. That's a custom one that we created because the business that we're working for is trying to obviously sell t-shirts. So this is gonna help with SEO. Privacy, it's gonna let you set up your privacy policy page. It's gonna let you create it or select one if you already have it and then hit use this page. 
Now duplicate page, that's just the plugin that I have installed to duplicate the page like so, and then it's gonna let you make some changes here. Next, what we're gonna do is actually get into customizing this, editing this, and editing with Elementor. So if you wanna learn about that, make sure you stay tuned, and I will be showing some other features like using WooCommerce, how to create e-commerce sites, and many more things here on this channel. So if you wanna learn about all that, you know what to do. If you have any questions at all, I know a lot of the stuff we went through really, really quick today, reach out to us through this video or go to our website at kelmanwebdesign.com and we will help you.